Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Flatless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel and today we are heading to Capital Vale Web after going through the snow area. Uh, there isn't much to snow area. Uh, the, 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 the map that you fall is the last map in the area. So yeah, it's just a short walk here to the Vale Web. I did get those two chests. It did take me a while, partly because I didn't know there were two points that you could drop on. I just thought there was one point on the right that you dropped off on, and I tried every combination. I couldn't get the other chest. And then I realized there's a second point that you could jump off on, and once I realized that, I was able to get both chests. Uh, one of the items is a magical blocker, which I don't know if you can use on bosses, but if so, that could be really good for Congo. It's basically a three-turn blocking. And then the other item was a dancer's ring, I think? which gives plus 20 speed. Uh, at the moment, Meru is the uh, the war god thing to try to max her additions. But once I put that on her, she'll be at 110 speed, which is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. I think it's 110 speed. Maybe it's 90. I'll check in a minute. Let's get started, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Here we are at the capital city, Falweb. The Seven Towers. I'm just saying the thing in the background that looks like it shoots things into space. <laughs> is Diaz waiting for someone in there? That is the Tower of the Seven Dragoons. The throne of the Holy Emperor is underneath there. We are standing at the legendary place where humans began their liberation. I wonder if it is an abominable place as well. You think too much? <laughs> it's the same as Kadessa, isn't it? When you drag the pass around, you cannot walk anywhere. It is true, Meru. The forbidden land that was the world capital of the Wingleys. And this veil web is a more hysteric ruin. A mere historic ruin. Yes. We can do nothing but settle for the present. Alright, let's go. And yes, I'm still rocking the same party. Uh, I think I'm going to rock this part until Congo maxes out his additions, but then he'll get new additions, so... Uh, let's see. Yes, I was correct. Um, she'll have 110 speed. Yeah. Uh, because of the dancer shoes and the dancer ring, her speed would be absolutely ridiculous. I mean, if we think about anyone else, uh, Dart, he has a 50 base speed. Uh, Congo has a base 30 speed. Uh, Miranda has 65. She's pretty fast. Albert has a 40 base speed. Ashel's 60. Ashel's pretty fast for an old man. I mean, he's faster than Rosa at 55. That's kind of impressive. Alright, there are encounters here. I did fight every encounter I had in the snow field. I think it was like six encounters total. Uh, I think I had one level up, but no additions or no new magics. So that's where we're at. Succubus and a spring header. Okay, let's shut down the succubus. Because I don't want anything that could charm me. And Congo can smash the spring header. Nice job, Congo. Yeah, I did it. That's really hard to do. That Moonstrike combo, especially when there's a counter, it is so hard to do. Amazing I'm still at 6,300 gold. 
I mean, gold is that easy to get in this game. Uh, can't jump down there. Looks like a cavern that I have to go back through. This guy looks like Kongo's lost brother. <laughs> and he instantly runs out to greet his brother. Ah, oh, we don't need a stun lock this guy, I don't think. Almost looks like Frankenstein's monster. Wow, this guy's got a beefy defense. Maximum Volt. Uh, Mera's edition did hit the next level, but she's not at max yet. And it earns 150 SP, which is crazy. Dang it! Tony, that's a really hard addition to do. Even when you get down to the end, it's 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 hard. It is a really hard addition to do. I'm here with the no level up. Wait, did I miss something? Because I think it said she's at Magic Dragoon 4. Did I miss that somehow? Yeah, she's at Dragon Level 4. I missed it. Oh, it's because she didn't earn any new magics. That's why I probably missed it. Okay. Yeah, you can only learn four spells for everyone except Kongo, who only learns three. But that's why. Ash is still at two. Ugh. Oh, hello. <laughs> eh. Oh, I see the other merchants. Remember them? We heard about them from the other guy. It's like Uno and Quattro. Dart, look at that huge battery. Human shot huge arrows from there, aiming at the tower of Lanville. And back then, humans thought this way. That the arrow would not only share the darkness that covers the earth, but also share the corrupted hearts which were accustomed to being railed. Why are you suddenly starting to say this? I don't know. I still cannot tell. But if we meet the guy who claims he is Diaz, I think we can find out the reason. I am speaking nonsense again. Let's keep going. A hero from history is waiting for us. Hero from history? Diaz? I thought he would be a villain from history. Hey guys! Uh, Tur Tercero. Tercero. Brother, there are no customers here. Um, I'm not dining a word though. Primero. Don't worry. Believe me, there are always customers, even in this kind of place. I oh, yeah, believe you, brother. Yeah? You're right, brother. There really are customers. It's all due to the skills and the passion of mustard soul. You have to learn from this. I sell weapons. And I sell items, we are battlers. It must be fitted that we be here. Why don't you take a chance to buy something? Let me thank you in advance. What do you got? A new spear. Uh, an old mace. Old armor. New armor, drops your magic defense, but only by three. So I think that's a, I'm okay with that. And then a massive, massive physical attack and defense power buff. I don't think I need this on anyone though. I still need to sell all of this. I'm gonna look at all of this. I, I need to sell all that. Um, I need to sell my attack ball. And oh man, my, my inventory is becoming cluttered with repeatable items. Uh, panic bell. Maybe I'm in a single fog and maybe get a breeze instead. I don't know. We have a lot of stuff. So go to a crowd though. I have a business somewhere else. If you want to find them, please buy some from them. I already did. So I want to buy a 
two more angel prayers. And then probably initial breeze. I'll buy initial fog too, though. I can always um do some of that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording and I'm gonna try to sell like all my junk. Okay, I sold off a lot of my stuff. You can still see I have 41 items though. And the reason for that is I want to try to keep one item per character, uh, a previous weapon and their current weapon. I, I went ahead and sold off most of my armors uh, with some exceptions. I, I kept a lot of my accessories except for like bracelets and things. So we have efficiently and like gutted a large part of our arm inventory and I got a trophy for passing 7,000 gold we're up to 87 almost 8,800 now next battle we'll be at 8,800 Two of these guys. Okay, well, let's shut down one and we'll go after the other. Yes. Go. Yes. Hate the counters in this game. If there's one thing that I could remove from this game, it would be the counters. Because they happen so fast. And even when they don't happen so fast, if you, if you, what's the right way to say this? If you, um, if you succeed in the counter, because the game has this animation that pauses, most likely you're going to miss the complete counter anyway. Um, I mean the complete edition anyway, just because there's no way you're going to keep up with it. So you see that right there? Like, like, I, I tried really hard to press the button there and I couldn't do it in time because the animation takes me out of it. Let's have you defend one more time. See, that's hard enough to do already without the counters. So, like, why do they need the counters in this game? Or, as I said before, and I think I've said this on video, not just comment to someone, but when you counter, there should be no pause. It should just continue the combo without that animation messing you up. Okay, nothing here. Just pretty picture. What was that? Hello? I have been waiting for you. You are Shirley? Why? Why are you here? You ascend to heaven, I thought. Before that, I had something I had to take care of in here in Veilweb. I couldn't leave the trapped souls alone in this world. Are you talking about? Yes, the four souls of the dragon which lost their lives during the dragon campaign. The souls were drawn to Mayfield. The gate of the inferno from which you can never return is requesting the souls of the dragoons. The death city Mayfield? I thought it was destroyed. I don't know how, but it is true that the gate of the inferno is open. Rose, I made their souls inert and it could them in this place, but there is a limit to my power. After you meet Diaz, please visit this place again and lead their souls to heaven. Okay. The souls of the dragoons are wandering somewhere in the towers. But we have to take care of something else now. Let's go find Diaz. I don't think I'm supposed to go here. Um, hmm.
Activity has space head this place again. Need the souls heaven. Okay, so up is. I don't know. I could go up though. Hmm. 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 This obviously looks like some sort of optional dungeon or. Or maybe actually a. Um, a, a, a mainline story mission. But I can go both locations. Hmm. I, I I don't know, Mega Man. It's um It's one of those that I'm honestly not sure about the uh best way to go there. Crush! Oh, by the way, that is almost maxed. And then we'll see his ultimate edition. See, that's already hard enough to do. Then you gotta throw counters into it. I mean, come on, game. Cool, boogie. Not move, of course not. Uh, hit him again. It's hard enough to do already, even without the uh, the counters. Children, we will protect your future. That is one of the dragons who lived during the dragon campaign. Shirley said that she is making them in art. That's why it doesn't recognize us. There is no reason to be here now. Oh, so I guess going here is completely pointless. So I guess uh, the thing we had to do is go back the other way, right? Those are some funky looking enemies there. Wow, look at that guy. Ooh, boy. I love Congo. He's so much fun. Ah, like I said, those are so hard to do. It's really hard to do. I think once she maxes out her abilities, I'm gonna give Dart his lesser weapon. Uh, just so I can give him the War God so he can consistently do that addition. Really, Flightless? Miss the easy ones.
This has to be one of the most OP items in history of gaming right here. I mean, that stone you get early on, and uh, throughout the entire game, it's useful. Like, it's useful all the time. Let's max out our HPs. Gotta be getting close to her 80. And I know Congo has to be close as well. Dart, he's nowhere close. But I know the other two should be close. Yeah, Dart is nowhere close. Uh, Meru is at 72, so she's getting close. Kongo's at 78. He's really close. Okay, there's really no reason to be here. I doubt there's anything here for us to get. And this doesn't look like an optional mission. This looks like a mandatory mission that we have to come back later. So let's crack on uh, underneath. I mean, underneath looked like the gateway to hell or something. So I thought that was, you know, where the Dragoon Souls were. Wait, which is weird because it said Dragoon Tower. But I mean, look at this place. That looks like the gateway to hell or something. It's like an upside down city. Looks like the, uh, looks like if the, uh, the Legion of Doom from Justice League, like, went upside down in a swamp. Okay, so the goal here is to try to get Congo to Congo to uh, successful additions. See, it happens too fast. It just happens too fast. I I, I can't keep up with that. And then I completely miss. Like an easy one, I completely miss. Oh crud. Magic does way too much damage. Yes. I actually did one, how about that? Actually, did one. Come on, flightless. I mean, you're embarrassing yourselves now here. I don't think I've sent a single one with him on this map. That's what I said, map. Like I'm playing Final Fantasy Tactics or something. <laughs> I, I have a way of doing this though. Um, good old speed up. As long as I just don't miss again. That should be enough. First Ultimate Edition. Coming for the big man himself. What's it called? Bone Crush. Ah, that, that, I mean, that's a pretty good name for it. I mean, that's what he does. He kind of crushes bones. Would have been funny if it was like Bone Smash or something. Not like Hulk Smash. Anyway. Uh, Congo, let's see. Bone Crush, 100 SP with 200 damage. Oh my god, that is amazing. That is absolutely incredible. But it's got five editions, so it may be hard to do. But still, that is absolutely incredible. 100 SP. I mean, it's been doing like 20 SP for so long. 
That was weird. I couldn't went into the door there. Even weirder. Okay, let's go down here. Look at that guy. I am afraid of that guy. That is for sure. I, I see a mage and I'm afraid of magic in this game being cast against me. Especially the character's name is a witch. Let's lock that guy down, please. Or that old cone, whatever. Wow, I did a lot of damage. Well, that's unfair. Y'all suck. Oh, I almost had it. Almost had it on my first try. That would have been amazing. Jeez, still can't do it. Um, I have a feeling this thing's gonna nuke me, but I can't really do anything about it. Because Mary is not strong enough to take this thing out on her own. Ah, it didn't nuke me. How about that? Give me a minute back there, all right? This guy is super fast. Nice! Oh, that's amazing. That is so cool. 10 out of 10, I like it. that late why was I late on that <sighs> dishes are so hard to do okay let's follow this thing down and the chest cool Rose's headband well, I wonder who that is for Rose's hairband avoids instant death. Wow, that's amazing. The defense drops five. I just like the avoids instant death part. That's incredible. All right, further down? I don't think we should go this way. I think the other way is, yeah, I think the other way there was a chest on the bottom. Banzai! Spear potion, that's meh. What do we got? Oh! Just a succubus. Okay, cool. Only one second, but two. Uh, that's fantastic. Let us go ahead and shut you down. And then dart, go at her. Yes. Gush. 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 Yeah, it's like you gotta do it faster than you think you have to do it, which is very annoying. I could have gotten away with a cool boogie there and then a dark sedition. Probably, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Anything over here? Nope. 
Shauna? Wait, Shauna? Shauna? Looks like she was missing an eye too there for a second. Huh? Diaz, here are all the three divine moon objects. It's Diaz, it's actually here. There are no more obstacles to hinder our utopia. Release the girl. Fine. Nice catch start. Diaz. What are you going to do with the Divine Moon objects? Don't you hurry it from Lord? My only desire is the advent of the last species. If you are the true Diaz, you should know what that implies. Oh yes, uh, the total destruction. But what do you? Lloyd, well done bringing me the moon gem, the moon dagger, and the moon mirror. Now we can let the Verge Embryo, the god of destruction, the last pieces we desire, the true Verge arise. I will create the utopia that you wanted. After the Verge Embryo purges the world. Everything so far was an overture to that. Lloyd, he showed you a false utopia from the beginning. You deceived me. My utopia exists in the future of this world. What I desire is the creation of the future, not the destruction of this world. I don't need you anymore. Oh, dang. Arg! Oh my god! Lloyd! Diaz, what are you thinking? I like how they never say anything about that. I, I will say something about that. Good lord. I don't need to hide anymore. It's one big boy right there. Wait a second, our dad is Zeke? What? That's making sense. Why would he give us uh, the, the stone? Is that really you, dad? You died with Melba Famu on each other's swords. Rose, what are you talking about? See, yeah, he is our what? What? No, I can tell you everything. The beginning of the world was an absolute nothingness. It was darkness. The creator saw us so to see to the earth. And this is the plan of Soa that created all species, the birth of the divine tree. 
Eventually, the fruit of the divine tree ripened and fell to the ground to fill the world with life. Gigantos from the 97th fruit. The Minotos, who we've never really ever seen at all in this game, but you know, they're from the 99th fruit. The Dragons from the 105th fruit. And the Humans from the 106th fruit. And Winglies with magical power from the 107th fruit. And at the end, the Raj embryo, the god of destruction, was to be born from the 108th fruit. So I uh, desire the destruction and regeneration of the world by the Raj embryo, the god of destruction. However, 11,000 years ago, Winglies found out the tragedy waiting for them and sealed the 108th fruit by separating the flesh and soul. The flesh of the god, the flesh of the Raj embryo was taken away from the Winglies as a moon that never sets that glows in the sky. And the soul of the god was captured in the crystal sphere. And Melbu Fama kept it, yes, to withdraw a limited magical power from that and to conquer the other creatures. However, even with unlimited magical power, the domination was not eternal. Humans arose with dragoons in the front. Nothing was a match because they obtained the power of the dragon. And finally, they drove Melbu Fama into a corner. I felt certain of human, my victory. And it was in the next moment the spell of petrification cast by Melbu captured me. I have waited for 11,000 years. Time, almost eternal. Dissolve the spell of Melbu. I was released from my captivity. Days spent with Rose became the eternal past. And I lived as the father of Dart in this age until the tragic day in Neat. I cannot believe it. I am here, and that is a fact. Then, both Dad and Rose are the heroes of the Dragoon campaign? Yes, but that's not all. Humans made a mistake. The silly humans destroyed the Crystal Sphere, which was a container of the soul, along with the royal capital, Cadessa. And the Raj embryo, the god of destruction, was exalted. It could now be born. The free soul released from the crystal sphere started to wander. In order to go back to the body that in the moon that never sets to be born as the last god. And to destroy the world. The soul without a body possesses a human body and heads for the moon that never sits by repeating the transmigration every 108 years. You now know the soul of the god of destruction is the moon child and the truth of the moon child is the legend. Count to 108 years and when that moon that never sets glares in red? The moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The holy blessing is the destruction. The destruction is so as well. This is. Ah, it's the fate that rules the future of the world. But 
There was one dragoon who found out about it. In order to deter the birth of the god of destruction, she has had to kill the moon children. By stopping her own time, she was even called a demon. That is the true self of Rose, the black monster! I believe it. I mean, I did theorize this a long time ago. I, 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 I believe it. I, I never saw Dart's dad being Emperor Diaz, though. I mean, that one caught me completely by surprise. I never even thought about that. I just thought it was Diaz from before. I mean, they pulled a, uh, they pulled a Shadow Hearts on me there. Haha. -ha. Rose is the black monster? Oh, the dots. Tell me it's not true. The moon child has to be killed, and the people around it too, before they become the servants of the god of destruction. Need to? For 11,000 years, there have been no exceptions. God! You're the real black monster! Let's eat! Shauna! What are you going to do to? What are you going to do? Period. Question mark! Exclamation mark! Let me tell you one more truth. Rose, you thought the Princess Luvia you killed 18 years ago was the moon child? But it is not true! Huh? Olivia had a twin sister. No, no. Shauna is the moon child. Shauna is the soul of the Rajimbio, the god of destruction. I'll dissolve the signet of the moon that never sets and cross it with the moon child. Now, I have everything in my hands! Release Shauna! And are you going to kill her? To save the world? God, what a horrible choice. I'll kill her. Don't you... Whoa! Well, this is the limitation of humans. Seek! Why? All is the will of the Creator Soa. My hands start the world and my hands end the world. Yes! Fate desires it! Dad, wait! Shut up! Save? What are we saving for? Oh! Chapter 4 Moon and Fate. One, a new chapter, my friends. Fate and Soul. Complete Chapter 3. Ooh. I don't know of any PlayStation games that had more than four discs, so I'm pretty sure this is the final disc. I mean, revelations abound. Yeah, I saw the black monster. Did I know about Shauna? I don't think so. Chapter 4, Moon of Fate. Yeah, I don't think I ever figured out that Shauna was the true moon child. I think in the back of my head, I kind of knew. But it was not something that maybe I ever, like, stopped to think about. Uh, Rose being the black monster, I did figure that one out. But there's no way in heck I would have ever realized that Zeke is Dart's father and Emperor Diaz. That, whoa, that is, that completely caught me by surprise. 100% by surprise. So one revelation I figured out, one revelation that I was kind of in between on, and one revelation that I just totally didn't know. So good job, game. 
I mean, yeah, good job. I am totally beaten. We came all this way and we cannot go back. Hey, yes we did. No need to return. The city of Wingley's Rose said is just over there. Hey, what was it called? Ulara? Hope we can find out what we uh, should do there. I hope so too. Why is there not more animus right now between Dart and Rose? Oh my god, are we in a giant desert? Me and giant deserts don't do well, okay? I remember playing a Sigurd of Mana and getting completely lost in that stupid desert. I remember playing the Breath of Fire games and getting completely lost in their deserts. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I've been lost in every single desert I've ever been in. Well, let's not go into the desert. Let's go into whatever this hole is first. Who could imagine there is such a place under the ground in the desert? It must be a cavity created when the water dried up. The world is going on without knowing anything. Without knowing until the end. I wonder if this little world has experienced an end like that. Is that determined yet that our world will end? Well, that's true. We are still here. Bless the passing and going of the Maker. All hail the mighty Shahalu. How the heck do I get? So I need a fall. It looks like I need a fall from the desert. To, uh, to get to these locations. The heck? This game... This game really has encounters that you can see coming. The heck is that? Spiky Beetle and yeah, all hail Shahaloon indeed. It's like a bug with a giant ball. Was a lot of damage. <laughs> Bone crushed indeed. Level up for Albert. Was this an enemy that I just ran into? Yeah, I just ran into this thing. I thought it was like something you had to interact with. Nice job, Congo. Uh, let's shut this one down. Because it might have attacked before Dart. It didn't, but it might have. Don't understand why I can't do Dart's combo. Just don't understand. Hey, 
All right, got my trees back. Let's finish this off. Um... Yeah, I really don't use spirit potions. So... I see a giant sucker thing in. That's fine. I want to go down here. What's down here? Takes me here. So I probably don't want to go down there. It's just a waste of time. But maybe have to go down on different locations to get the chest. Aha! It's an item box, unfortunately, which means it's probably not going to have a good item. Oh, it could be a repeated item. Um... Recovery balls usually sell for a good amount. Could get rid of one angel prayer. Mood Serenade. I think that's what? Empia? For everyone? Yeah, that's MP up for everyone. That's really, really good. So what I could do is I could now discard a Sun Rhapsody. Okay, it looks like there's one more chest that we have to find. It's on the bottom too. So most likely we have to go around this, uh, this giant suction cup uh, to get to it. Or maybe have to go on the right side this time. Probably not. Probably the... Uh, I have to go all the way around, but let's go on the left side to see how that works. Nope, that's not it. The thing is kind of forcing me in, so I need to go back a little bit further. That's fine. Because the thing would have sucked me in after the combat. Okay, let's go up. Hello. Healing breeze, that's not a big deal. Okay, let's try this side now. Nope, that is not it either. Whoops. Kind of flying around a little too much there. Let's go back and get that healing breeze and then we'll uh, go left, I guess. Well, that thing just pulls you right in. I didn't know there was another one on this side. Okay, that takes me there. I just don't want to spend like an hour in this place going up and down, up and down, up and down sand holes. So I hope you all understand why I'm uh, rewinding here. Cool. Can't carry any more items. I swear that the, the inventory this this game is just really really annoying. Um, no, I really don't use spirit potions that much. Let's get rid of another one of those. Uh, quite healing rain. Okay, that's not bad. So another item over there? I don't think so. So I think I could just probably go to the south of this area.
I like how we leave uh, footprints in its hand. So small things of life that entertain me. Oh! I didn't even see that. Anything new? Nope, nothing new. I like, totally did not see that sand, uh, the sand thing. It sort of comes out of nowhere on you. RKO out of nowhere! Lots is always right, as you all know. Too many items. Uh, let's get rid of a healing fog. Alright, sure game. Apparently it really wants me to have a healing fog. Whoa! God, these things come out of nowhere on you. Okay, I found on the right side this time. Let's see if there's anything over here. A refresher. Well, at least I know now. I could rewind, but a refresher's not bad. I'll take a refresher. Don't know when the last time we had that was. I really should save and stop for today, but I really want to uh, try to get out of this area first. I've been warning for a while, but that one finally caught up to me. Mm -hmm. I look so happy to see me too. Damage, he's still alive. And I don't know what's wrong with you. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And thanks to a new addition, you're gonna get this SP back very quickly, so it doesn't bother me. Bye, San Juan. Oh, Saint Guppy, whatever you are. Wow, a thousand plus. I don't need a spirit potion. No, we don't need that. All right, let's continue on. Finally, we can go to the right. Looks like we made it. Wow, look at that view. What? Oh, it's another zone? Oh. I'm actually going to rewind this one because I'm going to get sucked into that uh, thing after combat. I actually do want to go down this though to see what's in here. Chest galore and exits galore. Huh. Water! Well, I guess I'm not getting on the desert today. Oh, it's refreshing. Here, no monster. We can rest now. Look at it just guzzle away. What will the Winglies in Elea know? They should know the way we, or at least I, should take. So there is no need for you to come. Are you still saying that? 
Don't you understand? It is no longer a problem for you alone. You just found it out a couple of days ago, and now you think you could judge me? It is not as easy as pursuing one wingly. Oh! You, you say it was easy? Don't be so conceited. Stop it. It won't lead us anywhere. Rose, nobody can understand the weight of fate you have carried, but we can at least lighten the burden for you. That's why we are going with you. If you have the strength to argue, we could go on. There is no other way, is there? Alright, well, it looks like in the next episode of the of our continued buying Let's Play of The Legend of Dragoon, we are wandering the desert. Yep, we're wandering the desert. And it looks like a really big desert, too. Well, we got the first part of the desert complete. Uh, but the second part of the desert looks a lot more complicated, and it looks like we have a lot more to do. Before we uh, exit, why don't we check our additions? Where are we at? We're at 15 of 20. Uh, 79 of 80, so one away. And then Congo is 4 of 20. All right, my friends. Well, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. I'll see you again very soon. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.